Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Freibler. If you are new here, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I get a full coverage foundation look with powder foundation and it's all from the drugstore. Yay! So it's super quick, super simple, easy, great for the summertime if you have kind of more oily skin because it is a powder, but I also show you how I meld it with the skin so it doesn't look powdery. So let's get started. Okay, so when using powder foundation, the first thing I always make sure to do is prep my skin. So make sure you have some sort of moisture to your skin, use a moisturizer before, or something like that. But I also like to use a facial spray. So I just picked this one up from e.l.f. This is their Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection. So I'm gonna use this and spray that all over my face. You can use the Pixie Hydrated Milky Mist, something like that as well, anything that you have. So I make sure my skin is nice and hydrated because of course we are going in with a powder so you wanna make sure it really melds into the skin and doesn't look like powdery and just sit on top of the skin. You wanna make sure it has something to cling to. So then I go in with this big brush. This is from Morphe, this is their E1 brush and I love it because it gets everything done so, so quickly. You go in something like this, with something like this, the Ultimate Blending Brush from e.l.f., or you know a different foundation brush, whatever you're comfortable with, but I like to use a big powder brush, at least for the first application, because it's so quick. So, before we do that, I'm going to apply some concealer under the eyes, because of course, you always wanna apply liquids before powders. So if you wanna use something like a contour that's a cream or something like that then use that beforehand but just remember that this is a full coverage powder so this is going to be mostly powders except for the concealer we're using. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This bad boy. I just picked these up again and I'm really liking them again as well. This is in the shade Light Medium and then I have the shade Light Ivory so I mix these two under my eyes because that's just the shade I am right now. And I don't apply too, too much of this because most of the face will be covered with the uh, foundation, so. And then I do go in with that e.l.f. brush and I blend that out underneath the eyes. You could use a sponge if you want, but I've just been liking this brush lately. And then if you want, you can take a little bit of translucent powder or something and set under the eyes. What I'm gonna use is from Wet n Wild as well. This is their contour kit in Dolce de Leche. And I just sat underneath the eyes with that. Just because then we won't have to bring the other powder up onto the eyes. So the powder foundation that I like to use is this one from Physicians Formula. This is their Mineral Wear uh, Mineral Airbrushing Press Powder. It has SPF 30 in it, so this is mostly good for daytime because it will have flashback, and it is talc free. So I really like this for the daytime in the summertime, not at night. But the problem is with this, again, is that I'm in between shades. Physicians Formula has horrible shades, they really need to work on that as a company, like, it's really bad. But anyway, the two shades I wear are beige and translucent. So this one's beige, the dark one, and then this one is translucent. So I just literally mix them together. So what I do, if you're curious, if you have to mix as well, I'll try and show you. I seriously go one, two, one, two, or like, kind of just mix and match, and then I'll apply to the face. And I will, um, kick off some of the excess just a little bit and then I start applying to the face and I do it in buffing circular motions. Do you see how well that's covered already? Look at that compared to this side. That's just like a little bit of powder. That's like not even very much and then I just go in circular motions and keep applying until I feel like I got the desired effect that I want. And if you're like, oh, I'm a little bit paler right now, then use a little bit more of the translucent than the beige color. You just kind of mix and match. And I really think the more you buff, the better coverage that you get. Just like really sinks into the skin and gives you a nice amount of coverage. And so then this is what the coverage looks like. It is so crazy how much coverage these like foundations 
I guess it's like a foundation, but it's a powder, you know, powder foundation gives because I don't know, I just always feel like powder foundations aren't as full coverage and this one can definitely build really, really well. So like I said, I try and avoid it getting powdery looking. So again, I'll go in with the spray just to meld everything together. And then I'll even take a sponge and just dab it on the face to make sure, again, it's melded with the skin and it's all in the skin. Like instead of sitting on top of it, it's not gonna look powdery. So do you see how good this looks? I mean, I seriously love it. All right, you guys, this is it for the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this powder foundation routine. I know powder foundation sometimes, at least I think of it as kind of harder to use because it makes your skin look powdery and just doesn't meld with the skin as much as a liquid does. But, you know, people might not think that way if they don't use a liquid. So this is a really simple and easy way to get a powder foundation from the drugstore. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. So you should definitely subscribe, and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye. All right, before I get like a million questions about what I'm wearing on my lips, I'm going to tell you how complicated and high maintenance I am and show you these three lipsticks. I know, crazy, right? They're all from Milani. They're all their lipsticks and I first put on matte naked which is a like more mauve shade put that on the lips then I put over it nude cream which is like a pinky nude then I put on a really nude called matte innocence over top so that's how I got this like light nude mauve thing that isn't too dark mauve super high maintenance you definitely don't need to do that but that's what I wore on my lips <laughs>